in this video we will derive the thermodynamic probability of fermi dirac stat we have done this for maxwell boltzmann stat and bose einstein stat and from that we have derived their distribution functions also so we will do the same for fermi dirac stat also now for doing this we will imagine boxes which are nothing but energy levels and we have n particles and this number of microstates which is nothing but the thermodynamic probability is in how many ways these n particles can arrange themselves in these energy levels now for achieving this we will imagine first like this energy level contains n1 particles this one contains n2 particles this one contains n3 particles and so on this one contains ng particles now there could be a possibility that these energy levels are degenerate that means there is further splitting of energy levels so this is the diagram that we need to understand now in fermi dirac statistics also the particles are indistinguishable as they are in the bose einstein stat but in this the difference is they obey pauli's exclusion principle and this makes this thing really easy to find because of this like one particle can go in one energy level so this makes finding this thermodynamic probability really easy easier than bose einstein stat and very easy than maxwell boltzmann stat so they obey pauli's exclusion principle so if we are like three energy level and three particles like one can go in here the other should go in other energy level no two particle can fill the same energy level so one specific energy state will have only one particle this is what pauli's exclusion principle is now to find this let us assume this simple case we have one energy level which have a degeneracy of four like there are four different partitions in this main energy level and we need to distribute like four particles in here now if somehow we are able to find in how many ways these particles can arrange themselves in this one main energy level then we will automatically get it for all the energy levels and then we will multiply it as we have done in bose einstein stat so we just need to find in how many ways these particles these ni particles can arrange themselves in these gi sub levels of this main energy level so we need to do this now see this this obeys the pauli's exclusion principle so for the first choice we have this four particles so we have like four choices first then we will like fill one of them in here now we have three choices now like we have two choices now we have one choice and now we have no choice so this is the number of ways in which these particles can be picked to fill this energy level so the number of ways are like 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 now generally generally it is this 4 is gi so gi gi minus 1 gi minus 2 and so on to see this gi minus ni plus 1 so look at it in here for example carefully this is gi 4 minus 4 so ending is here in 1 but if you have like 3 particles then this ending is here in 2 so gi minus ni which will be 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so this is a general formula for this now this is basically the number of ways in which these particles can fill in here but we need the final result in factorial way so we will like convert this thing in factorial so we have this now what we will do is this see this this is gi gi minus 1 gi minus 2 and so on to gi minus ni plus 1 now if we multiply it by gi minus ni okay that means gi minus ni plus 1 minus 1 and then gi minus ni minus 1 and so on to 3 2 1 what is this this is gi factorial so we have multiplied it we will divide this 2 to not change this expression so we have this thing in here that is this part multiply by that part and divided by that part now this above thing is gi factorial and this down thing in here is gi plus ni factorial okay so we have this thing in here this is gi factorial and this is gi minus ni factorial but see this in the above way that we did like we did 4 3 2 1 what we did is this the self changing of those particles will be counted automatically in here so to solve that what we will do is this as we have done in the permutation and combination video we can change from a permutation to a combination if you don't want to like count the ways coming from the particles changing their position like switching their position then we will divide this whole thing by 
ni factorial the number of particles like n things can arrange themselves in n factorial ways so that is what we will apply in here we will divide that n factorial in here so divide it by ni factorial divide this thing by ni factorial so this is basically the number of ways in which those indistinguishable particles can arrange themselves in that energy level so now generally for fermi dirac statistics we will multiply this thing for all the energy level for the first one for the second one for the third one and so on to g energy levels okay so this is basically the thermodynamic probability for fermi dirac stat but we can also write it like this this is for multiplication gi factorial divided by gi minus ni factorial multiplied by ni factorial so this is basically the thermodynamic probability for fermi dirac statistics this is what we needed to find so as i promised at the end of every video i will share something fun to you so as a fun riddle what would you call a bee that comes from america you will call it usb because like america is us and a bee that came from here so i hope you have enjoyed this riddle so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything